After quickly finding a sound like this, you might want to modify it now a little to adapt it to your production. We'll load another sound. Let's say that this time we only know part of the name. As you might know from earlier versions of Absinthe, the patch window is the place where the sound's main structure and its parameters are defined. However, it might be hard to quickly find the sonically most relevant parameters here. Also, even if you designed an equivalent sound yourself and therefore know the patch's structure very well, you might not want to have all the parameters available when you start to make music. The new Perform window bundles the most important parameters of each library sound. It features 16 macro controls. Two macro controls can graphically be merged into one morph square as seen in this example. But you can also edit them independently. Each macro control can be assigned to multiple targets with individual parameters. So the macro controls become your remote interface to the audio engine. Now play a sustained sound with your keyboard and change the control values. As you can hear, the macro controls let you tweak and customize any sound easily and musically, without the need for going into technical details. And for advanced users, they provide direct access to the most relevant parameters. That's why the macro controls are usually the most important target for MIDI and host automation. To the right of the individual pages, you can see another feature new to Absinthe 4 the master envelope. It is like a macro control for your envelopes. We'll check this out later. The powerful audio mod feature is also new to Absinthe. It has four envelope followers that derive a control signal from an audio signal's amplitude envelope. You can specify the module whose output you want to track. Several other parameters allow for fine adjustment. For example, use audio mod to make the amount of delay effect depending on the incoming signal level, so that only slight delays are audible while the note is played, making it more present, but atmospheric delays can be heard when the note is released. You can also use audio mod as a trigger. For example, the audio mod can start a module's envelopes when another module's level exceeds a certain threshold. When you use Absinthe 4 as an effect unit, for example, you can trigger the oscillator's envelopes when an input signal is present. This ensures that the signal is computed only when it is necessary. <laughs> 